Welcome to Creatively Using the Creative Suite. Here's your host, Eric Burnskill. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Burnskill and this week I'm going to talk about what Adobe Story is. Because Adobe Story comes with the Creative Suite and a few might have heard of it but most might never have seen it now it isn't the production premium and master collection suites so it is a tool primarily for video people and what it does is it helps you create scripts you know project with scripts movie scripts commercials whatever type of video script you need to write with characters adobe story does it and I'm going to show you just a brief overview of what Story does today, not getting into the advanced features that Story offers, but I'm just going to briefly show you what it does. So when you launch Story, you get to this window, and to use Story, you need to be activated with a an Adobe account, an Adobe ID. This is part of the CS Live services. So you've got your messages, you can go in full screen mode, uh, and you've got your account right here, and you're connected online. So everything you write in Story is going to be saved and connected with that Adobe ID account. So what I can do now is go to my Projects tab up here, and I can look at all my projects. Now, currently I have a sample project it's called Paladin. And in this project, there are a couple of different types of documents. I have scripts, which are full scripts. Um, I've got character biographies. I've got research, synopsis, and I've got a category for links, but I don't have a link currently in here. And the, this separation really helps when you're writing that complex script because you can keep your characters let's say how hero is described and if i double click it's going to open into my authoring mode where i have access to file edit view review and production i can do different type of commands from in here and i get access to all the documents that i currently have opened and so here you can see it's just a blank text document normally with text entered into it. So we've got a hero, paladin, character name, the hero character, and paladin is a knight. Age, place, the, the, the things that you really need to know when you're working with a script that's in here for the hero character. So if I go back to my projects, I can, for example, look at one of the scripts. So let's load up the sample AV script by double clicking on it. What I get now is I have two pages here. So it's just showing me a sample right in here. And you see this is, again, pretty much a text document. But if we look at the main Paladin script, so if I go to Paladin script, which all is opened, I, this has a sort of different view. So we've got seven pages in this one. And you see here, it's a lot of text. All right, so this as the story that is being scripted. And on the left hand side, I've got an outline panel where I can see the different pages. So I can, if I click, I can get up a sort of a summary synopsis of what this scene or page section is for. You, you get that we fade into whipping green blur, we're cruising over the treetops. This is a synopsis describing the scene that you're about to shoot. And you might wonder what these little tiny color icons are, and that's character indications. So for each character you create in the project, you get a little indicator here, so you can easily see which characters are in a certain part of what you're going to shoot. So if I zoom in here and I hover over the blue here, you're going to see that's the hero. And then we have Kid 1, Mage, Kid 2, no more characters. So we, that's the three characters that we have. But if I want, I can add a character to this in Tower Room Dusk by just clicking the square and going ahead here into the script. And what I can do here is basically add that in and connect it because um, this has, when I edit it, it's got great features that I'm able to insert revisions, scenes, scene numbers, and I can insert different um, the characters and everything into this. So by doing that, 
And by changing from action to character, and then let's say I type kid2 in here, and I, I write something and save this, then I now have inserted kid2, which gets kid2 showing up right here in my character panel. So when I insert it right in here, that is when this is going to show up as, and I save it, and that's when it's going to show up in the outline sidebar. So you can see how this really is powerful when you're creating these scripts, when you're working inside of a script production for a video shoot, and Story offers you this great thing to be able to go back and forth between description scripts and getting it right much easier. And since it's all on the web, it's synced online. So you basically just need your Adobe ID to access all of this. So I advise you just to go play around a little bit with Adobe Story. See if, especially if you're a video person, this is going to be great for you. So go and try it out. See what you think. See if you have any use for it in, in your daily workflow. And that's it for this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. I'm giving you a quick overview of Adobe Story today, and I hope that you'll join me next week for another look in another Creative Suite application. Bye-bye.